That's why we go to such great lengths to import all of our logs from the Great Lakes region in southern Canada. Each log is tagged with an ID that enables the logs to be traced back to its original source. After the logs are cut to the right length, they are submerged into special tanks in preparation for the veneering process. The logs are soaked at a precise temperature so that the veneer lathe is able to peel the log into long sheets of incredible consistency without damaging the cell structure of the wood itself. Customized dryers pull the moisture out of the freshly made veneers in an even, thoroughly controlled manner. Zeroing in and maintaining the exact amount of moisture within the wood is an extremely important part of this process. After veneers are dried, they are inspected and tested for consistency as well as moisture content. Each and every piece is trimmed for accurate size and shape in preparation for the pressing phase. Then they are sanded evenly and smoothly with precision machinery. The thickness of every sheet has to be entirely uniform because once you start stacking one upon another, even small imperfections can multiply into bigger problems. Veneers are then placed into dyeing tanks and pressurized so that the dye penetrates the wood completely. Every individual veneer is inspected and measured by hand to maintain quality and consistency. The next step is to glue and press these veneers into their intended mold. The quality of the glues and their catalysts is a huge factor, especially from batch to batch. Each mold was CNC'd out of steel, ensuring that each and every mold was identical and would never decay over time, in contrast to the standard way of making molds individually with less permanent material. Curing is the next step, and it's a crucial one. In the past, a problem that we had was that sometimes when orders were ramping up, especially during the spring, we would notice decks getting soggier and soggier when we were shipping the most worldwide. When we didn't have enough supply of either veneers or perfectly cured decks to keep up with their cycle, they would yank them out of the curing before they were actually done, thinking they would shave a few days off, which wouldn't matter. This whole situation just shows the importance of curing. If the glue isn't allowed to dry properly, the wood won't retain the mold's form. That's why from the very start we took extra steps, both in procedure and within the actual facility, to treat the decks as if they were patients coming out of surgery allowing them to recover in tightly controlled rooms where the decks could stay cool with several finely tuned humidity control devices. After they're cured but before they're shaped, we drill the decks with specific templates that are made to hone in over sharply defined markings from the mold itself. Previous. Since decks in the past were created and translated to mold by hand, it was nearly impossible to keep human error from creeping in. In contrast to this old way of doing things, DSM masters are digitally finalized and reproduced in steel by computer automated design and machining. This means that common errors that creep in along the subtle curves are digitally eradicated and each deck comes out the way it was intended. After they're routed, decks are thoroughly inspected and finished by hand. One of the key features of DSM is the unprecedented number of man hours assigned to the inspection and finishing of each and every deck. There are 14 stages of intense quality control. From here, the decks are in the final stages of lacquering, burnishing, and finally sprayed with a clear gloss.